so as far as um, just going into everything, um, you made a big decision um, last summer, fall, and uh, ended up in AW. And I know some people, and you, you know, you've talked about this, and we've all talked about this. Some people, when it came to this similar decision, had a very easy time with it, and you did not. Um, you had a lot of different things that were going back and forth. I mean, is there anything, I guess, when you're like weighing these two things that put all more weight on one side than the other, or was it just one day you just said, oh, I'll try something new? Well, the real thing was the pressure of having to make a decision. I think had my wife not told me like, listen, you've got to give these, both of these people an answer at some point, like soon, <laughs> like they're, they're kind of waiting on you. Right. And I like, I'm just somebody who will lollygag and drag my feet a little bit on making a decision. And I was so content actually that that actually made it easier to deliberate even further. Right. Where it was just like, well, you know, I have loyalties here. This sounds super exciting. Um, so there wasn't necessarily one thing, but when I did the checks and balances as far as far as like, what do I want from my life? How can I, where would I make a bigger impact and help more people like the, the, what would my quality of life be like for my children as far as being on the road? Like, I think one of the, one of the issues, two things that are not related at all would be, I'd be able to spend more time with my family and then I'd also be able to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh so God. it was just like, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't like to di divulge my, um, my conversations with Vince, um, at like at all, because I know that he's a very private person, but I will say this, one of the things that when I was, cause I wanted to tell him before I told anybody else. Right. Uh, I think I, I yeah, I, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I told Vince even before I told Tony. But um, but one of the things when I finally made my decision, I'm like, OK, I'm set on this decision. And, so I, and he was kind of asking, asking me why. And I said, you know, and there's part of me, too, that just wants to be able to bleed. <laughs> and he, he immediately said, well, I'm sorry, I'll never be able to give you that. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Uh, so, so yeah, but, and I mean, it's not like I want to do it all the time, but I mean, there's just something, there's something, I, I don't know, incredibly life affirming, uh, about it as strange as that sounds. Hey, if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.